Do not ignore this if you collect Social Security, regardless of if it's SSI, SSDI, Veterans Benefits, and if you collect them, you're going to want to see this video as there are letters that are going out. Take a look. Social Security is overpaying billions to people, and now they are demanding that the money be paid back. Social Security overpayments have some in Washington scrambling to pay back thousands, and in some cases, tens of thousands of dollars. So if you're getting this letter in the mail, it is real. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest, and this is very disheartening to hear as there's people struggling just to make it day to day, and now the Social Security Administration is saying, we overpaid you, and now you have to pay it back. Now, in addition to that, I let you guys know in a live yesterday that just last week, take a look, Social Security SSI is likely to see an increase as lawmakers eye reforms, so there is some good news as new legislation coming out. And here's the actual press release from the senators. Brown, Cassidy announced first bipartisan bicameral bill in decades to update Supplemental Security Income Program, or SSI. So, I shared this with you live yesterday. Stick around to the end for some more updates on it. And also, everybody's wanting to know, what is the cost of living adjustment or the COLA increase for Social Security going to look like going into 2024? How much are monthly checks going to rise? I'm going to keep you up to date on all of this here on the channel. But let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on these letters going out from the Social Security Administration. But before we do, if you could do me a quick favor, smash the like button. If you appreciate the updates keeping you up to speed, hit subscribe to stay up to date. Why not? It's totally free. I'll let you know everything going on. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so first, let's take a look at this article that just came out today from ABC News as we're getting word that people around the nation are starting to receive these letters. Social Security is overpaying billions to people and then demanding that the money be paid back. Now, Justina Worrell, 47, works part-time as a kitchen helper in Ohio in a nursing home. She has cerebral palsy, an intellectual disability, and a cardiac condition that required that she get an artificial heart valve at age 20. A year ago, she was earning $862 a month and receiving $1,065 in monthly Social Security Disability Benefits, or SSDI, when a letter arrived from the federal government. The Social Security Administration had been overpaying her, and the letter said they wanted the money back. Within 30 days, it said that she should mail the government a check or a money order in the amount of $60,175.90. Social Security should be here to help people, not to destroy them, said Addie Aldner, Worrell's aunt and caregiver. Now, the Social Security Administration is trying to reclaim billions of dollars from many of the nation's poorest and most vulnerable payments it sent them, but now says they should never have received it. Now, during the 2022 fiscal year, the agency clawed back $4.7 billion in overpayments, while another $21.6 billion remained outstanding, according to the report from the Social Security Administration's Inspector General. One consequence is a costly collection effort for the government and a potentially devastating ordeal for the beneficiaries. We have an overpayment crisis on our hands, said Rebecca Vallis, a senior fellow at the Century Foundation think tank. Overpayments push already struggling beneficiaries even deeper into poverty and hardship, which is directly counterproductive of the goal of the Safety Nets program. Now, the Social Security Administration declined an interview request and said that they would field questions only submitted by email. The agency declined to say how many people have been asked to repay their overpayments as these letters are going out around the nation. We do not report on the number of debtors, a spokesperson said. The agency rejected a May 2022 Freedom of Information Act request for documentation of every overpayment notice sent over the past several years, and a March 2023 appeal is pending. Now, Jack Smalligan of the Urban Institute, who has done research on Social Security, estimated that millions of people around the nation have received notices saying that the agency has overpaid them. Most are disabled and may not be able to afford a repayment to the government. Overpayments can result from Social Security making a mistake or from beneficiaries failing to comply with requirements intentionally or otherwise. But much of the fault lies within the system itself. So they're saying this is not even your fault. They made a mistake. They overpaid you. And now they're requesting that they get the money back. It says rules are complex and hard to follow. Limits on what beneficiaries can save or own have not been adjusted for inflation in decades. This is a major issue and why we need reform. The Social Security Administration does not have adequate staff to keep up with its workload, much of which is done by hand. And the system has built-in lags in checking information such as beneficiaries' income and relies heavily on data submitted by beneficiaries themselves. 
Now, the Social Security Administration is required to be a good steward of the money entrusted to it. That means keeping overpayments to a minimum. And we're hearing that there's literally billions of overpayments that are going out and recovering them when they happen, the Inspector General has written. When the agency determines it is overpaid, Social Security Administration can ultimately reclaim the money from beneficiaries by, for instance, reducing or stopping their monthly benefit payments, garnishing their wages, and intercepting federal tax returns as well. The agency tracks its overpayments through quarterly payment integrity scorecards. In the most recent scorecard, the Social Security Program, the agency said $265 million of overpayments in 2022 fiscal year were within the agency's control. In other words, the agency blames itself. And here's another report that just came out on this yesterday that says last week we told you about Social Security Administration's overpayment to recipients of a total of 21 billion nationally. Now the government wants the money back and families across the country are saying that they can't come up with the cash. Lori Cortrin received an alarming letter from the Social Security Administration notifying her that she owed 27,000. She was shocked. So these are not just thousands of dollars. In many cases, they're tens of thousands of dollars. And what's worse, in this particular situation, this individual was on SSI. So that's right, Miranda is only entitled to keep $2,000 in the bank account at a time. As you guys know, SSI has those caps. Now, I just reported to you that there's new legislation out that is proposing changing the caps on SSI. And take a look. It's covered in this article right here. Families receiving SSI benefits said raising poultry asset limits would be life-changing. Currently, individual beneficiaries can have no more than $2,000 in their bank accounts, while married couples, just $3,000. However, there is a new bill that has been reintroduced in the U.S. Senate that would change all of that, and it is called the SSI Savings Penalty Elimination Act. This bill would increase the limits to 10 thousand for individuals and twenty thousand for married couples filing jointly now take a look here's the article that i shared with you yesterday evening live as this just came out last week and we saw more articles and information rolling out over the weekend and again this is the ssi savings penalty elimination act so this is a piece of legislation that would help out those on ssi and be a significant bump up and increase for those receiving these benefits now for a bump up across the board for all people collecting social security a lot of people are wondering what is that cost of living adjustment going to look like and will we also see legislation introduced reintroduced and passed that will provide bump ups across the board of $200 per month well to see the latest on this be sure to check out these videos right here as I mentioned I covered one live and also I'm going to keep you up to speed on the cost of living adjustment and any legislation for social security so you know what's available but with that being said you guys that is the latest I will keep you up to speed as more information rolls out from the social security administration on these letters thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.